Known today as a hub for entertainment such as cinema, gambling, drinking and nightclubs, London's Leicester Square is one of the British capital's most iconic sites. It has been a haven for those seeking thrills and hedonistic excess for centuries, but the location's distractions were not always as conventional. In fact, they were downright perverse and bloodthirsty. The square was originally a well-to-do residential area with occupants such as Frederick, Prince of Wales and artists William Hogarth and Joshua Reynolds, but things took a slide down the socio-economic scale in the late 18th century as the impressive Leicester House was torn down and retail and entertainment became the main focus of the area. Today, Leicester Square is home to a number of nationally significant cinemas such as the Odeon, Empire and Prince Charles Cinema, it is also used for celebrating the Chinese New Year and is adjacent to London's Chinatown, but once upon a time there were different entertainments, some of which were plain ghoulish. These included brothels peddling prostitution and, troublingly, a facility in the 1700s where visitors could stump up a few coins to watch the severed heads of traitors executed at the Temple Bar through telescopes. The now demolished Leicester House on the site of which the Prince Charles Cinema stands was first turned into a museum of curiosities called the Holofusicon. The museum housed a number of natural history exhibits acquired from the voyages of Captain James Cook, who, in February 1779, was clubbed by Hawaiian villagers and stabbed to death in the surf on his final voyage. Four Marines, Corporal James Thomas, Private Theophilus Hinks, Private Thomas Fatchett and Private John Allen were also killed and two others were wounded in the confrontation. In 1881, the Empire Theatre of Varieties opened on the former site of Savile House, but had a troubled start, closing for a time until the end of the decade. The theatre had a notorious reputation for high-class prostitutes, and in 1894 the London County Council ordered the promenade on the upper balcony to be remodelled. A young Winston Churchill, then a military cadet, helped destroy canvas screens that had been erected to prevent access to the balcony. The theatre closed in 1927 to be replaced by the Empire Cinema. During the infamous winter of discontent in 1979, a labour dispute saw refuse collectors going on strike and rubbish piling high in the square as Bimrin refused to collect it. As a born Londoner and frequent visitor to the capital, I can attest that, despite some seemingly high-class venues, there remains a certain seediness to Leicester Square to this day, though this is nothing on the grim lowlight of the 18th century. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. Thank you for watching.